Good morning, Coin Roll Hunters. Matthew the Great Coin Roll Hunter here, bringing the energy back. Um, <laughs> so these last few rolls, I've been a little bit tired, feeling a little bit ill, um, and really bumming you guys out. So I feel really bad about that. So I am just trying to keep it upbeat, keep it light, keep it fun, because that is why you come here. So uh, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't already, if you've been watching, I urge you to subscribe because we are opening a roll of half dollars every day until we complete this $500 box of half dollars. That is 50 rolls of half dollars. So, um, huge commitment. Um, I, I committed myself to doing these videos early in the morning and so that it gives you the best chance to watch them whenever you can. Um, I imagine watching these videos in the morning before work. Um, maybe it's your day off, I don't know. With a cup of coffee and, uh, you know, maybe an English muffin. Um, just a nice way to relax and start your day with some awesome coin roll hunting. So I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Um, I know I have. At times it has been a little bit stressful, but I keep my word. And uh, here we go. Let's get into this. So, right now we're looking for 90% silver half dollars, 1964 and older. It's a solid silver copper alloy coin, 90% silver, 10% copper. Um, and it's going to appear tarnished, and that is why we look at the edges. Um, they call this reading, R-E-E-D-I-N-G, which gives the coin kind of a grip on the edges. That's probably going to be worn smooth because these coins are 1964 and older. They are some old coins. Silver tends to be kind of soft. And so those are our clues when we're looking at the edges of these rolls. Um, something that's light gray, almost white, and in some cases even black. Kind of a weird spectrum there. But uh, silver likes to tarnish. So um, I do not see anything like that. Now... Uh, 1965 and older, like this uh, 76 Bicentennial, is what we call a clad coin. It's a uh, copper center sandwiched between two layers of uh, either nickel and copper, or if it's 1965 to 1970, silver and copper alloy. Now the silver clads, 1965 to 1970, are 40% silver overall. So that includes um, the, the uh, cladding. So those are what we call 74 or seven, uh, 40 percenters. And you, can, you really have to, um, you can weigh them, I suppose. But the easiest way to do it is to just check the dates for 1965 and older. Um, what I have to check the dates for is an opportunity to upgrade my birthday coin for the birthday coin collection. Um, if you're not familiar with this channel, you just found it, check out the uh, Birthday Coin Collection playlist. Um, it's a great way to start. If you're uh, an adult and maybe you have kids, um, it's a great way to uh, get your kids into a fun hobby with the Birthday Coin Collection. Choose their birth date, um, especially if they're children. Um, <clears throat> their coins should be relatively new and modern, so they'll be easy to find, which also makes it more fun for uh, younger collectors. Now here is a 1983 with a Denver mint mark. That is the mint mark right there. Um, capital D for Denver, capital P for Philadelphia. We are looking for a Denver. Unfortunately, we've got uh, some grease or uh, just some damage. Mint mark. Oh, actually, you know what? That looks like Sharpie. Um, so possibly a hunter mark here. Um, I can already tell you the one I've got in my collection is in better condition. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to move on. Um, but as I was saying, uh, coin collecting is a really great hobby, especially if you're like an aunt or an uncle, um, which is what I've been preparing for. So every time you have a chance to see your nieces or nephews, you can bring over like a box of pennies, which is only $25, or uh, if you can, get a hold of a box, a $500 box of these half dollars, and you can just go through them and talk and you'll have something cool to do with your niece or your nephew 
And uh, at the end of the day, hopefully you find something that they're going to keep as like a little memento uh, for your time together. So you can have some really positive influence on your family that way and your children uh, if you're a parent. So, uh, unfortunately, we did not find any uh, silver today. Um, did have one opportunity. And I guess I'll show you the, the, here is the 1983 Denver that we found in this roll. If I can get the focus to work. Um, and just to show you the one that I currently have in the collection is right there, 1983. We just upgraded it a few rolls ago. You can tell that one's a no-brainer. So we'll just put this one back. Uh, with the birthday coin collection throw him back catch and release so there you go that is how we coin roll hunt if you didn't know a uh, great way to do your coin collecting so subscribe to the channel we'll see you tomorrow for another roll of half dollars and uh, if you've got any coin related questions go ahead and post those in the comments below uh, yeah like the video send it out to your friends and until next time, this is Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, wishing you happy hunting.